Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The Model S and X have both been refreshed. Yes, they didn't discontinue the Model X, although there was not much information about it in the earnings report. However, on the website, there is more information about it. There were no interior photos shown of the new Model X yet. Hopefully they will update the website soon and give us all the information about them. Disappointing they have not yet. There is an exterior photo of it when you order though. But Tesla have released a Model X Plaid version, which people weren't expecting. But there we have it. The Model X is still with us and now it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to see the interior. And the Model S Plaid is out, but also the Model S Plaid Plus at $138,499. And that's a monster. Unbelievable. It does 0 to 60 under 2 seconds compared to the standard Plaid of 0 to 60 around 2 seconds. So how much further under 2 seconds the Plaid Plus goes is anyone's guess, but it appears to have a lot more range too, and 80 more horsepower, and they're both tri-motor. And it would appear that the Model S Plaid is available for purchase right now, but the Model S Plaid Plus is not available until late 2021. We can assume the Model X interior will be very similar looking to the Model S, and the Model S interior is out of this world. Yes, they went with the internal widescreen. It was an obvious move, and I think it looks a little bit bigger than the Model Y and Model 3 version. But they also kept the other screen behind the steering wheel too, which I only thought about a 35% chance of them keeping that. However, the steering wheel is now a shape where you can see the dash clearly, so the dash doesn't need to be raised that high to give better vision. Oh, and what a steering wheel too. It looks amazing, similar to the one they've shown in the new Roadster. And they went for a screen in the back too, which I thought they might. And the rear seating looks incredible. Individual seats that likely recline far back too. Maybe similar to what the Lucid Air concept was like, but they dropped that from the production version that everyone was disappointed about. But Tesla managed to include it. I couldn't quite make out if there was an internal camera, but I think it likely. We have an exterior photo of the new Model S Plaid. There isn't a lot of change to the exterior of the car, and it's hard to say what is a change and what is just the Plaid. For example, the body kit is likely just for the Plaid version. But we do have Chrome Delete, which is a nice feature. Other than that, not a whole lot. And I didn't think there would be, as this was more about getting the car to the level of luxury that people expect today, and getting it more suited for FSD and RoboTaxi. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick update on the Model S and X. I'll get more info after the earnings call. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.